What's up, YouTube? I'm back. This time with my top five African cichlids for 55 gallon aquariums. And don't forget to hit that sub button. It's Hab Nation, baby. Stay tuned. Bring the bass. Hey, I am the truth. Hey, I am the wisdom of the fallen. I'm the youth. Hey, I am the greatest. Hey, this is the proof. Hey, I work hard, pray hard. Pray. Right, guys, the first fish is going to be the Masonite or the Manasani, however you want to pronounce it. I uh, choose to pronounce it the Masonite. So let's take a look at this fish. All right, guys, the Demasonite, the semi-aggressive African cichlid, the dwarf Buna cichlid, maxes out at about five inches. This fish is also a herbivore. This fish does well when there is plenty of rocks and hiding spaces. Again, that's the Demasonite. All right, guys, the second fish is gonna be the Crebenza cichlid. Let's have a look at this guy. All right, guys, the next fish is the Crebenza cichlid, a.k.a. Crib. This is a semi-aggressive African cichlid. Max size is about four inches. This fish is an omnivore. This fish is kept most commonly in planted aquariums in the African cichlid hobby. The third fish is going to be the Neolampelagus multifaciatus. Let's have a look at this guy. All right, guys, the Neolampelagus mosifaciatus is a shell-dwelling fish from Lake Tanganyika. Males reach from anywhere in between 1.8 at max size and females 1.4 inches. This is a very territorial fish, and it will defend its shell. This fish feeds on plankton in the wild. A high-protein flake food is recommended or frozen baby brine shrimp. Number four is going to be the Aluna Cara Peacock Cichlid. I'm pretty sure all of you guys are familiar with this fish. Let's have a look. The Aluna Cara peacock cichlid are very territorial and they max out at about five inches. And last but not least, it's gonna be the Altolampelagus calvis, shell dwelling African cichlid. Let's take a look. The Altolampelagus is a shell dwelling fish. The largest range anywhere in between three to four inches. This fish diet consists of mostly meaty and high protein foods and our frozen baby brine shrimp. All right, guys, that's my top five. Thanks for watching. And remember, the opinion that you follow should be your own. Simply take this video as a second opinion from a complete stranger online. And as always, until the next one, IFG. Peace. On to the next one, on to the next one, on to the next one, on to the next one.